So, last night it was announced that, um, yeah, there's been some progress on the Morbius film. Yeah, that's still a thing. Um, I talked about it a little earlier in the year, but I was like, I, I guess they're going to try and wait till maybe uh, they see how well Venom does, which we're getting close to that. But no, they're like, nah, fuck it, let's just do the Morbius movie, because Sony can't help themselves. Um, yeah, so, let's talk a bit about the, uh, Morbius, tra let's talk about more about the Morbius news, almost said trailer, excuse me. Um, yeah, so we got a, a, d a director announced, and we have the actor playing Michael Morbius for the film. So let's talk about the director real quick, Danny, uh, Daniel, uh, es Espononia? I cannot pronounce that last name, but basically his claim, his two big claims to fame film-wise are uh, Safe House, which is the Ryan Reynolds, uh, Denzel Washington movie, and the other movie, Life, which incidentally was, a lot of people were theorizing that was going to be like a prequel film to Venom. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. Life is an okay movie, really, it's, it's nothing special. Um... It's kind of a fun, it's, it, it tries to be alien. It really tries to be alien, but misses all the points of alien. So, yeah. And no, it does not, um, it does not, um, what was I going to say? It, it's not a, it's not a prequel to Venom. So, yeah. But I find it, I do find it funny that that was the case, and now he's actually doing a superhero movie. Now, uh, now, so yeah, the director's work is just kind of ranged from eh to okay, but who knows. Now, the star of the film is what's getting people interested, and that person playing Morbius is none other than Jared Leto. You know, the guy who gave us that Joker. Yeah. 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 Jared Leto is Michael Morbius. Now... Jared Leto is a really good actor. I'm not, you know, denying that. But his, let's be honest, his Joker was not worth it. Especially all the shit he did to... I know he's a method actor. I understand that. But, yeah, some of the shit he did, apparently, at, you know, to get into the Joker's headset, what mindset was kind of horrible. So I can only imagine what he's going to do to try to, you know, method act to be a vampire. You know, what is he going to do? Is he going to, like, try to bite people and drink their blood? I, I don't know. Um, but again, I will stress that Leto is a good actor, and I've seen him in really good stuff. Uh, Blade Runner 2049, he's great in there. But, yeah, let's, we can't overlook what he did with Joker. And, yeah, he's still getting a Joker movie. All right, whatever. Um, but, yeah, could I see him as Morbius? Maybe, um, I think he's. I think he's a really good pick. Let's not. Uh, let's not be. Re uh, let's not be frank um, or cut corners. I think he's a pretty good pick. He's a pretty good guy for the job. Um, but yeah, and also the fact that they want. Uh, you know, that Daniel, um, the director. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the last name. That it's a horror director they got for this. Kind of gives me hope that yeah, they definitely want to go with the horror element for Morbius. Now, the big thing with Morbius is that um, I'm wondering, are they just going to make him a straight-up vampire, or are they going to go with more of the comic book origin and, you know, address that he is a living vampire? For those who are unaware for Morbius's uh, origin is that Michael Morbius was a scientist who was dying of a rare blood disease, and he thought that maybe if he could irradiate a, a cells from a bat, he could save himself. Well, the, he got bit by a radioactive bat and turned into a living vampire and became a Spider-Man villain, then eventually an anti-hero in the 90s, and now it's kind of flips back and forth in the present day. So, there you go, people. There's your quick crash course on, that, on Morbius. So Morbius is an interesting character in that he kind of walks the line between supernatural and science, even more so than some of the other, vil uh, the other monsters in the Marvel Universe. Um... A lot of them do have a lot of mystical stuff to them, but there's always a little bit of science to them. Morbius certainly walks that line the most, where, yeah, he's a, you know, he's a, he's a, by all intentions, all intents and purposes, a vampire, but he was created through scientific means, not through, um, you know, your typical vampire, uh, vampire need, uh, means. So, I'm wondering, also, who are you gonna have for the villain? I mean, you're, they're gonna use the symbiotes for Venom, but... Morbius doesn't really have a rogues gallery. He doesn't really have a rogues gallery per se. 
he doesn't really have anyone to fight, and since I'm pretty sure they can't use any of the Spider-Man villains, I guess they'll make up something? Maybe another vampire? Maybe they'll make up something new? It's hard to say. But Michael Morbius is an interesting character, and I'm glad that it looks like they're going to go the horror route with Morbius. Um, Leto, even though I'm kind of half and half on his, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I didn't really feel his Joker, I will admit that I think he could do some really cool stuff as uh, Morbius, um, but I'm just worried, like, what is he gonna do um, to get, you know, you know, what, what is he gonna, how far is he gonna go, is my question. How far is he gonna go in the real, in the real world? Oh boy. But anyway, so, that, is, so, I'm cur again, I'm really interested to see um, what exactly they could turn out with this. Um, I'm also wondering, and I'm pretty sure they'll do this, even though I have an image of the classic costume, I think they're going to go with the more 90s costume, where it looked more like he, s he literally stole something from a goth shop, and it was like a BDSM leather suit, like latex suit, with a blue ragged cape, o blue and black red ragged cape over it. I think they're going to go, if um, especially with the horror route, I think they're going to go with the his 90s look. Um, very indicative of the crow, in a way. But I would not be sure. Maybe they'll, uh, um, I don't know. I'd like to see the classic costume, the red and black costume, but I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. So there you go, guys. Um, that's pretty much uh, all I had to say about the, you know, updates on the Morbius film. I th Honestly, I also think Sony's kind of go getting ahead of themselves, to be honest, because they still we still don't know how Venom's going to turn out, but they're all like, yeah, we're totally doing a Morbius movie. It's going to be great. It's gonna be great, and we're, you know, we got Jared Leto, and the dude who directed Life. Life was okay, but moving on, we got Jared Leto. It's typical, um, Sony fashion to do something like this, so I'm not shocked, but anyway. Um, so you guys tell me in the comments below, are you guys excited for this news about, um, Jared Leto becoming more, you know, being cast as Morbius? What do you think of the director? Um... What do you, who do you think you, they could have for villains? And what kind of story would you like to see done with Morbius? Just uh, comment below, let me know. Really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. And once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I have to, and I will see you guys later.